Welcome, 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 welcome. Thanks for my Virgos, my Virgos. Sipping on a Merlot. I just love my Virgos. What are you guys doing? What are you up to? All right, mind control's on. All right, so take control of your brain right now. Take control of your brain. Let's do what I love now until um, October 22nd, okay? Give or take some days. Give or take some days. You know how that works. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Monday. Virgos. Unrequited love. Oof. That's way too many. Um, this tells me somebody doesn't have enough love for themselves right off the bat. See the bad of the person you're dealing with, okay? Um, give a relationship a chance. All right, so we're we're fighting something. We have a lot of passion for somebody. We have um, red flags make the effort. So somebody is not seeing something, but there's a lot of passion. I was just saying, um, Aquarians got that, and because everybody else was getting chemistry, but I, I love the passion card so much more because it's it's chemistry and passion. Okay, so yeah, you're very passionate about something. Um, release your energy. So you're holding on to something that's no longer serving you. You have a past life relationship going on with somebody right now. Okay, which probably makes it a lot more difficult, makes things feel like a lot more complicated, okay, we do have religious factors, all right, so I don't know if there's cultural differences right now, re religious differences right now, um, your upbringings were definitely different, okay, um, to me, you want to give something a chance, but you don't know how, you're holding on to negative energy, and it looks like you're trying to figure it out, okay, so that's, that's good, Somebody is, like, sick to their stomach about this situation. <clears throat> Tell me about unrequited love. So, me, this is this is saying not having enough love in, in, in yourself, all right, with the six of wands. Yeah, this is, I don't know if you're carrying pride, all right? You're letting pride get in the way of, of something. Yeah, Tell me about the six of wands, unrequited love, all right? You're, you're letting your, your ego get the best of a situation. Yeah, the Ten of Wands, you're carrying a lot of, carrying a lot of weight. I will tell you, you got the High Priestess. This High Priestess is nothing about secrets. This is written in the Book of Destiny. Whatever's happening in your life right now is supposed to happen. Whatever weight you're carrying, you're supposed to be carrying, okay? You need to let this ego go because if you don't, whatever this is, is not going to work out. Do you understand me? Tell me about giving a relationship a chance. Ace of Pence. So it looks like you have an opportunity for a brand new start. It's either here or it's coming. All right. And you got the devil. So it's it's coming out of toxicity. I don't know if somebody had a pill issue and it's over. Okay. And if it's on your mind, let it go. Okay. Don't you dare go back to that. Tell me about passion. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if somebody's detoxing. All right. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Something did not go in your direction when it came to this person. All right. With the two of wands not making a decision. Tell me about paying attention to red flags. All right. This is, you know, somebody's feeling guilty. It's the five of wands reversed, but this also talks about watching your back. Okay. So to me, I don't know if you already got rid of that person that was being sneaky or you. You're not seeing something, though. We got guilt on the board. I don't know if there was a third party involved here or not, but something didn't go right. Tell me about put it, make the effort. You want to make the effort. All right, with the nine of pence, you know, you, you got you got love for this person. The four chalice is reversed, so you feel like you missed an opportunity, but you also feel like if you get back into the cycle, you're going to repeat the wheel um, with this queen of pence. So to me, this is, you know, tell me about release your ex. Um, it's the the... Night of pence reversed, all right? It's just somebody, you're not putting enough effort into yourself to release this energy. And it has to do with the queen of chalices, the queen of cups. This is somebody who's nurturing mother figure. Um, it's time to let something go. You got to clear your energy. 
button didn't go in the right direction. I don't know if there's a third party. Tell me about the wheel. I feel like there was something. All right, the six of pentacles. It's just telling me you're not living in the moment. You're dwelling on the past. Tell me about past life relationships. All right, it's the night of chalices. So again, it's, you know, not not taking action with the eight of chalices reversed. Like, it's like, do I walk away? Do I not walk away? With the nine of pentacles. So you're watching somebody and somebody's lying about something. But your ego's in the way. You're destined to be with this person. We have the King of Pens reverse. I'm not putting energy into it. All right. Yes. Tell me about religious factors. The Magician reverse. So see, yeah, something, something tricky. Or you're just letting your ego get the best of you with the Three of Pens. So I don't know if there was a third party or not. Because that's reverse too. Not not dealing with the situation. That's some type of soul contract too. Let me um clarify with this deck. Someone feels stabbed in the back from somebody. This is, um, but it's like you want to give it a chance, but you're not even in the moment, okay? Like, so you're thinking about walking away. There's something toxic. I don't know if there's a little obsession here. Borderline. Tell me about unrequited love. Uh, you're carrying too much weight, all right? See, that contradicts itself right off the bat. This is saying, you know, gain self-love. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Yeah, see, it's not expressing how you feel. You you, you have to tell somebody how you feel, and you're not. Tell me about giving a relationship a chance. The wheel reversed, all right? You, it, it's... You're just negative about it. You know, you got the, you got, um, temperance. You need to heal from this. Tell me about temperance. All right, you're feeling trapped. You're feeling all up in your head. You're coming out of it, though. All right, yeah, it's like somebody's given to somebody, somebody's given to somebody else. Like, there's not an even exchange of energy being reciprocated here. But you're trying to give it a chance because you got love for this person, but like you're not expressing as much as you should be. Tell me about passion. Somebody's given more than the other for sure. Yeah, I mean, see, this, there, there's that passion with the Knight of Wands. Somebody's rushing towards somebody. So we, I'm telling you right now that somebody's lying or just not owning up to something. We have two different scenarios. Somebody's with somebody right now and they're not talking about what they should be talking about. Somebody's given more than the other, or the two of you are just not given to each other and you need to. All right, and then we have somebody else who dealt with all this in the past, and now somebody's coming in, but it looks like the person who's coming in is not even speaking the truth. Tell me about pay attention to red flags. All right, yeah, somebody's not accepting something with the death reverse. Tell me about make the effort. I feel like somebody's with the hierophant. Like, it's almost like, because it's so spiritual, or you're in a marriage, all right, but here comes a message, a message of what? We have two scenarios on my board, all right? You're coming out of confusion. So somebody sent the message and you're confused. It's time to have a conversation, um, a very practical conversation. The truth needs to come out. Tell me about past life relationships. This is dealing with karma, addressing karma, all right, with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is very over-emotional, not having it, okay? Um, I don't know if her ego's in the way or she thinks your ego's in the way, okay? She's focusing on her right now. Um, but she wants no new start with you. That's for some. This is weird because I literally have two different stories and I felt like I was just about to tell a third story. So I'm so sorry if this is all over the place for you guys. Every beat has been so different right now, but this is what this is. I have like two to three different stories on my board. You're going to have to go back and watch. I'm sorry. Tell me about religious factors. All right, the four of wands reverse. Whoever this person is that either different cultures, you guys were raised different, someone's spiritual, somebody's not, somebody's Catholic, somebody's Muslim, it's something like that, okay? Um, this person's slowly releasing, all right? With the eight of cups reverse, this, this person's thinking about walking away from you. All right, with, you know, the hermit reverse. 
they don't want to sow starship when it comes to their past, they, but they're thinking about you. But so somebody's dealing with somebody that they're thinking about walking out of a relationship right now. I don't know if it's going to go down or not. And I don't think it's because of anybody else. That's just one scenario. We have another scenario where somebody's lying to themselves. They think they got enough love for themselves and, and they don't. They're carrying too much weight. They can't even own up to their own shit or to somebody else. And we have another scenario where somebody's giving to somebody else and not giving enough to the relationship or vice versa. Okay. I don't see a third party. If there was, it's not here anymore. Um, but somebody's still lying about someone, something, someone's still not accepting something. This is so nuts that we have all this. All right. I, I can't even pull mutual energy. We have so many different stories. Um, I'm going to try real quick. I'm going to read you a moon card, but, um, there's something toxic here. Somebody's codependent on somebody too. I feel like, um, there's a, a wee bit of an obsession with something too. Some type of addiction. I feel like there's still there's still lies and something tricky going on. Mutual energy. All right, the four of cups. Somebody again feels like they missed an opportunity with something. All right, and 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 now they're sad, or the or the two of them are sad. All right, because. It was probably something that could have grew, but didn't. Um, so mutual energy, it's almost like this talks about like a third party. And I think somebody walks away, something happened, and now they were like regretting it or something. And But there's somebody right in front of them. The one scenario. All right, mutual energy for another story. But it's like you make each other happy. Somebody's not seeing something. Mutual energy for another one. Page of Swords. So the two of you, Knight of Swords, I mean, the two of you are, are impatient. The, the two of you. Uh, I'm nasty with words. The two of you pop off with the tongue. You got the king of wands. You know, neither of you are, are I mean, with the four of pence, neither of you, uh, both of you are in the midst of letting go, okay? Taking action on letting go, all right? Um, but you're still popping off at the mouth. What you need to do is just let go of each other. We literally have two or three stories here. Sorry, ladies and gents. I know that gets tricky. That's tough. Okay. Um, I'm telling you right now, with all this aggravation and, and, and feelings and emotions, please check your moon sign more than a sun sign. Because to me, this is like, you'd want to check... Because if you're checking somebody's sun sign right now, you'd want to check their moon sign, their Venus, okay? Because you're going to get a much better idea of, of where this person's at. There's so much emotion here, past all that. You, you want to check Venus, you want to check the moon, you want to check rising, all that. Virgo, Virgo. I, we literally have two to three stories here, two for sure. Somebody just, there's a meant to be scenario with somebody. Another one is, is, is time to walk away. You, you're in a situation where you need to walk away from each other and others need to, are in a situation where they're together, but they need to put more effort into it. All right. A new romantic cycle begins. Okay. So to me, this is saying, if you are together, you, you need to work on this and balance out the scales of the scales there. And that's what it was saying here earlier, too, with the, the scales, because you weren't giving enough to each other or, or a certain situation. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. we got a couple different stories. Um,
a new romantic cycle begins, okay? Feel more, think less. Marriage or an engagement is on the horizon. A legal matter will go your way. Pay some attention to the awareness, but don't, see, but don't be all about your appearance right now. Reach out to someone and let somebody know that you care about them. So somebody's somebody's relationship is escalating to a higher level. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like I don't really see some. This can be a past two coming back at you. Somebody who walked away from somebody and now they want back, or vice versa. For others, you're in a relationship. All right, so try to work it out. Okay. Um. But for those who let go of somebody or vice versa and don't have nobody, somebody's coming back around and a new cycle is going to kick off again with the Virgo. Well, this is you. A new cycle is going to kick off with, with somebody else. It could even be a Libra. Because this one talks about the Libra moon. But to me, it's just balancing out the scales. So let me get one more. So put that put the effort into something too, all right? If it's worth putting the effort into, especially if you've been in a relationship and you want to balance out the scales, the tool you need to put the effort in, all right? Because there's definitely love, all right? So, and then we have, you know, nothing will come of this situation. So we have another one where that's it. You know, it, it's a wrap up. And another one came out, don't let the past hold you back. So that's what I'm saying. Like there's a past situation too that, that's coming back around, but this person doesn't quite know how to come at this other person because of whatever went down. All right. So don't let the past hold you back. It's time to release the past. A relationship is at a comic time in your life and it has it's played out. Okay. And then it's attraction. And I talked about that attraction. Your attraction to someone is on the verge of being obsessive. I told you, okay? Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should, all right? So there is a little obsession here too, all right? So I'm so sorry that we have two to three different reads here, guys, all right? And then nothing will come for this situation. So it looks like somebody wants somebody back and this other person is just going to be like, nope, sorry, all right? Like it's it's, it's tricky, You gotta trust in your higher self right now, okay? The chances of something are diminishing. Something better is right around the corner. Believe that you will get what it is you need. Surrender to the divine. Take a time out and meditate and con contemplate. See, I told you. Something was written in the stars here. Surrender. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I'm saying. I am so, so sorry for the confusion. You might have to watch this a couple times. Please go and watch your Venus and your um your moon and your rising more than your sun for this particular situation. I'm not kidding. Even if you're, you're cross-watching it and you don't know this person's time of date, just say unknown. It's still going to give you an accurate rising sign and a Venus sign. I mean, an accurate moon sign and a Venus. The only thing you won't get is a rising sign, okay? Um... But that's okay because you want the moon and the Venus right now. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So some of you, it's just a past life time. It's time to wrap it up. Others of you, you need to put more effort into it. All right, for damn sure. Like everything that says right here, like not enough love for you. You, you know, past life relationship, you got to let it go. That's what I'm saying. Like the story's all over the board here. So I wish my Virgos the best. You guys have not had a reading like this in a long time. All right. And you're the only Zodiac this week that is is, is like that too. So like, woo wee. All right. Um. That's the love. Even Kai was like, yep. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.